Hello everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a leaf bottle opener. Thank you for watching. Okay everyone, first step in this process is to make a leaf. Now I'm not going to take and make and talk about how to make a leaf. I've made other videos on that. If you want, I'll put those in the playlist. I'll put this kind of in the same playlist as those so you can check that out. Today I'm going to focus on making the bottle opener portion of the leaf itself. So that's what we're going to work on today. The first step is you want to make your leaf blank. get your leaf blank made, we'll turn that into a leaf. So we're just going to get right into this. So you can see I'm making the stem pretty narrow. And now that's working it too cold. I don't want to work it any colder than that. That's cold enough. So I'll get me another heat and I'll be right back with you. All right, we got this back up to heat. We're going to start to kind of round off the stem area a little bit. Just to get that looking more stemmish and less like a square bar. And then we're going to flatten and spread our leaf. You can see how that looks right there. Alright, so that's the first step in this leaf bottle opener that we're going to be making. The next step is to continue to texture our handle bit or what's going to become the handle of our bottle opener. And so we'll move on to that and I'll be with you in the next clip. Alright, we got our handle portion nice and hot. Now this I like to do a little bit of a kind of a quarter turn or an eighth turn every time I hit and progressively move up the stock. I find that this kind of gives it that lumpy texture of like a stem. It makes it more visually pleasing. So we'll just work that on back into the colder area here to provide a little different texture and keep just working that down. Remember, we're not trying to go for smooth. We want to take and go for nice and rough looking with a stem. So I hope you guys can see that. All right, next step in this process, we are going to make a bend. Now the trick to making this bend, I do them mostly by eye. And the reason why I work on such a long bar of stock is it helps... You know, if you don't bend enough, you can always bend a little more. But I figure about three inches is enough material to bend over the edge of the anvil to come back and make our bottle opener portion. And then, you know, we may have to texture a little more on the stem, but we'll come across that road when we get there. So next, I'll bring it out and I'll take and make my first bend and I'll move along from there. All right, got it good and hot again. I'm going to figure out about three inches or so. And I'm just going to whack that down over the edge of the anvil. No big deal. We're just trying to make a nice bend. And we'll start bending it back a little bit onto itself. And just like that. So you can say, well, that don't look like much like a bottle opener just yet. And I would say you're exactly right. So the next step in the process, we're going to come to the front of this and take a round punch and go half on, half off with the round punch and drive out our little catch for the bottle opener. So I'll reposition the camera so you can get a little closer and see what that looks like. And then I'll be right back with you. 
Okay, everyone. So, here we are. Good and hot. We're going to take and get this set up. Half on, half off, like I said. With the punch. And we're going to drive out that little nub. Now that's going to become the catch for the bottle opener. The next part, we'll go ahead and take and heat this back up. And we'll bend this leaf portion back around. We'll bend this leaf portion back around. And then that will become the part that goes over the top of our bottle opener. Or our bottle cap, or if you will. So this way we can lift off the cap. So I'll readjust the camera again so you can see how that'll look from the side angle. And we're almost done. Okie doke. Here we go. So I want to take this to an uncomfortable position just to show you guys what's going on here and what you're looking for. Um, couldn't think of a better way of filming this, so we'll just go with this here. So just like that. I want to set that down a little bit. Give that some radius. I'm going to keep this nice and round in here when you go around the horn. That way it comes back up and over and it looks nice. We're just trying to, all I'm trying to do right now is just get this to where it's going to look nice and level with it. And then we'll put it in for the offset or the adjustment. But that's essentially it. So we'll have to come back. We'll have to adjust this a little bit at a time. Give the leaf some shape. And I'm doing this all without any special equipment or tooling or whatever. Just to give you guys kind of an ideal of what you can do uh, with just the horn of the anvil. Yeah, and there you go. So that should catch the tape. That should catch the bottle cap just fine. Oh, I don't have any bottles that I'll be able to take and show you. I know that's poor show. What good's a bottle opener without being able to see it being used on a bottle? But I don't drink. And I don't even drink soda anymore, so. I don't have any spare bottles laying around to open this up with, so. Oh! It's the stem. So, next step, you can choose however long you like this. I liked it to be just a little longer, and then I'm going to put some bends in it. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll cut it off and give it a finish. And we'll be good to go. Alright everyone, this is the last heat on this. Well, this part is where you get to just do kind of whatever little shaping you like to it. Give it a little more dimension if you want. Make the handle a little longer. Make it crooked. However you like, make it look kind of viney is my suggestion. Give it some shaping. And, uh, yeah. Give it a good brush. Once it gets below a scaling heat, then come up to your cutoff tool. Then remember, cut to center. It just looks better. So I'm cutting off. This is pretty cold, but videos went long enough. And before anybody asks me how much these sell for, I have never actually sold one of these. Oh, I have tried. I have marketed them on my website for, well, better part about three years now. And not one has ever sold. So I don't know what the deal is up with that. But, maybe it's just ugly. <laughs> that might be the case. It just may be the ugliest thing ever. And nobody likes it. But, uh... 
Anyways, I got it out there just in case people want to take and get something like this. I, I give these away to guys and stuff. A lot of people like, well, what is it? And then I have to show them, and they're like, oh! So maybe, that's, maybe that has something to do with it as well. But anywho, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a big thumbs down. Either way, I greatly appreciate the feedback. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless you all, and have a great day.